Happy Facebook Live time. Happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Yay. Um, I am here today every week, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my weekly Facebook Live. My name is Melissa Kerman and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have been a demonstrator for over 17 years. Yay. <laughs> um, and I love to share the craft with, with all of you. So um, if you're joining me live or for the replay, welcome. So glad you're here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I, I, I chime in and let me know if you can uh, hear me. I'm actually trying a new thing this week. Um, I've got a little microphone on my shirt, <laughs> on my chicks in a treehouse shirt. <laughs> um, and just in, in the hopes that the volume is a little better and the sound is a little better. So as I do the live today, please chime in. Hopefully I'm not going to get any sort of ambient noise from my hair rubbing on the microphone and that sort of thing. So do let me know. I want your feedback. Um, a lot of times I kind of, I think I have sort of a quiet voice. And so when I do um, uh, videos, sometimes I get people complaining that it's not loud enough. So I'm just trying to work on refining my sound. So, um, oh yay, you can hear me better. Thank you, Sharon. I'm so glad to, to know that. So I see people, of course, joining. Uh, hi, Sharon. Hi, Tina. I, I now I'm blanking on who was there first. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Welcome. So glad to see people joining in. So um, if you receive my news, I always like to do a little personal update. Um, so this has been a really good week for me. Last week, I told you guys I was having some back-related issues, um, and uh, just that just doesn't feel good. So I didn't actually do any physical exercise last week, and this week I made up for it. I actually did two yoga classes. Yay! <laughs> And I uh, actually played tennis with my daughter, who is uh, 19, and um, anyway, uh, I still feel it in my knee from the tennis, so <laughs> I, I got out there, you know, got some physical exercise, sweat a lot, because it's really hot here in the South to be playing tennis, uh, and my knee hurts, but it was good, it was really good, so I'm um, really glad to say that I was able to do it. Um, I see, hi Edwina, let's see, who else, uh, just now the name is Mary Lou, I think I see. <laughs> hi Christy, welcome. Oh, you're from Boston, yay. Uh, that's my, my hometown, actually, well, Winchester is where I grew up. Anyway, welcome everybody. So um, I got just a couple of quick announcements and then we'll go straight to the project. Um, one of them is that the uh, in colors, the 2020 2022 in color re inker bottles were not available um, up until recently. So now they are available. So I'm super excited because I actually forgot to order mine when I did my initial order for the new catalog. So those are available, and I de definitely recommend getting the ink refills if you get the ink pads, just because then you know your ink pads are going to last for a very, very long time with those re inkers. Um, there's also lots of fun things you can do playing with the ink itself, not just to refill your um, uh, your ink pads. Okay, that's Mary Lou. Woohoo, Winchester! Yay! <laughs> so you know where I where I'm from. That's cool. Um, all right. So the other announcement, of course, is that um, my it's registration is now open for my August technique class, which uh, the theme is going to be. Um, Joseph's coat and I'm using primarily this stamp set love of leaves and then also um, it's called uh, life is it's over here life is beautiful I can't actually get up and go get it now I'm like trapped because I'm attached to a cord with my uh, microphone here <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, so and today's project is also with love of leaves so I'm super excited to share what I have um, with you today because it's a really cool set and I haven't even used the dies yet just the stamp set um, But anyway, so Joseph's coat is the August technique class um, So if you want to sign up just for the class uh, alone, you have to do that by August 15th This is also a unique time of the year because it's one of two times of the year where I offer a subscription Opportunity for people who want to sign up for three classes up front and it's cheaper to do that The subscription is a fee-based option. You're just basically paying me to, to do the class um, and then you can also join a club or buy the class with product. A club means you're committing to um, purchasing product, $75 a product for August, October, and December, the three months that the um, classes are happening. 
Um, and I also have announced what techniques I'm going to do for October and December. This is actually the first time I've announced several months ahead because usually I try to design something so I know for sure. <laughs> But I haven't designed anything yet, but I've picked the techniques. So October is going to be um, a, a technique I call glazed mosaic. It's an original. It's not anything I've seen anybody else do. Um, uh, and the second technique, the one in December, is cracked glass, if you've heard of that. That's super fun technique. So that's coming up. So um, I have details on my website, but I have a lot of options. I kind of offer every option under the sun to satisfy anybody and everybody's <laughs> needs, which is typically pretty confusing to people. So um, anyway, so if you have questions, just let me know. Send me an email. Have a, we can have a phone conversation, whatever. We'll figure it out if you are interested in my technique classes. Um, so that's pretty much it for my announcements. I am now going to turn the camera face down, I think, uh, and then I'll show you uh, what we're going to do. So just uh, while I'm facing you, I just want to show you again. Love of Leaves is one of the sets, the primary set I'm using for today's project. And then I'm also going to be using um, an image from the Whale Done set. Um, I can't help myself. When I want a certain image, I just go find it. So we're using those little specks. I've been showing lots of fun things with that Whale Done suite lately. And then we're also going to be using this image right here from the Tasteful Touches set, another one of my latest favorites. And then I'm actually using this little um, compass image from The Beautiful World. So um, just one, one each from those, but mostly the Love of Lee set. All right, without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera facing down and we'll get started. <coughs> Notice I'm trying to clean up my, my wall over there. <laughs> it's just been so blank because I have nobody coming here to the house, so I don't bother doing my display boards. But uh, I need to make that pretty for you guys. So I've got some things I'm going to put on display there, but I only got so far as to removing things, not really putting things up there. So, um, okay, so there's my sets. I'm going to move them off to the side. <coughs> now, I'm going to show you three different variations with a couple of other little twists on the technique I'm doing today. And um, we're going to start with the simplest one. And I am using embossing folders. So I actually, for the very first time today, I used my new um, stamp and cut and emboss machine to do my dry embossing. So that was really fun. It worked out really well. And I'm going to actually do it on camera as well. Um, and it you know, works the same as other die cutting machines, but it's still fun to show you guys. All right. So I've got a piece of very vanilla cardstock here, and I'm just going to start by stamping a couple of images on here. I'm um, going to use Crush Curry for the first one, and I'm going to kind of sandwich them close together. I love leaves. I don't know about you guys, but um, one of my favorite types of images to play with. There's number one, and then I'm going to use this second image with Old Olive. <laughs> uh, yes, the beautiful Pacific Northwest. I love it up there. I'm jealous, Kathleen, that you live in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> okay, next up is my Old Olive, and I'm just going to, I'm kind of nesting these images pretty close together. So I've kind of tucked it uh, in there next to the crushed curry. And then last but not least, I'm going to use some Blackberry Bliss. I don't know about you guys, but my really my favorite season of the year is the fall. So when these types of fall uh, images come out, I just can't help myself but play. All right, there's my last one. All right, so what I'm going to do now, a couple more, a couple other images, the ones that, um, I, that I'm using from the other stamp set. So I'm going to use Soft Suede. For this one, I'm going to stamp off my compass, and I'm going to put it right in this general vicinity, but taking off that first layer of ink. And then I'm going to use my gray granite and stamp a few of these images in first and second inking. So 
So I'm sort of creating a little bit of a, I don't know, it's sort of a scene. I have um, uh, a print uh, that I bought a long time ago be before I moved here to North Carolina when I lived in the Bay Area um, to stage my house. And, um, and I just love it. And it has leaves. And so it's this kind of modeled after that, um, although there's one huge leaf um, uh, for each print. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my big shot in. Actually, it's not a big shot. <laughs> it's that mouthful. It's the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And here we go. And I've already got the little panels down. And it's I'm going to leave my ink pads there because I'm going to use them again. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so. I'm going to now take this whole piece and I'm going to put it through my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine with this scripty embossing folder. Now I want the script to come up into this image. Now you can only do this embossing folder one way because it's writing. <laughs> and uh, believe me, I've kind of messed around with this and thought I was going to get it the way I wanted and then realized that I got the text backwards and upside down. <laughs> Done some funny things with this by accident. Okay, where are my plates? There they are, across the room. Hold on a second. I gotta be careful because I got this microphone <laughs> attached to me. Oh my goodness gracious. Where did I put it? Okay, I had it right here. This is now gonna make me crazy because it was right here. Had it right there where I would know. Oh, I know where it is. There it is. Put it in this very convenient spot so that I wouldn't even notice whether it was there. Okay, here I am back again. Okay, so I've got my plate and then my base plate, and then the number four is the equivalent of your um, the blue um, base or the blue um, pad that we had before. So if you have that, those two are interchangeable the blue with this number four. So now I'm just going to make a sandwich. I always want to have my, um, the binding of my embossing folder going into the machine, the die cutting machine first. Um, it otherwise puts stress on the embossing folder. So now I'm just going to run it through. It goes really smoothly. And then I'm going to move this out of the way, although I am going to use it again. So when I was doing this, I played around a bunch with um, embossing either first or second. So now you can see what I've got there. And um, so I've got that nice scripty texture in the background, which I love. And then I'm going to actually do some stamping with some Versamark and some other images. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy. And I believe this is just a pouch filled with cornstarch. We don't sell it anymore or something of that sort. So. Um, you might be able to find something like it online if you don't already have it. And then I'm just going to stamp a few images here and about with the specs. And then I'm also going to take my Versamark pad and rub it against the edge of my paper. Sort of creating a bit of a, like I said, a collage or kind of a nice vintagey sort of look and I'm being very casual about how I'm putting it on the edge. Some I'm do covering, covering more of the paper and other times I've got it more straight upright so it's just going to be a little bit and of course because Versamark is a clear ink it's all kind of you know a mystery as to what's going to show up where because you know it's a clear ink. <laughs> it's like okay now let's see where it is. So I'm using gold embossing powder. And if I don't like where it is or it's too much, I can adjust it as I go. So I got a whole lot over there. So I'm just going to use my finger. Kind of. I don't want so much covered. I just want some nice little gold accents. Don't want any straight lines. But I do like it a little bit around all the edges. A 
I think that'll do. And then I am going to actually make some noise here with my heat tool. So bear with me while I do this and I'll bring it up to the camera so you guys can see the magic happen. How are we doing with my microphone now that I'm going to be sitting here listening to the embossing, um, you know, doing its thing. <laughs> you guys can comment and let me know what you think and uh, I'll read your comments while I make noise. So how are we doing with that microphone? Is it working out? Too loud? <laughs> um, too much static? Too much, uh, you know, rubbing against it? I don't know. You just let me know, okay? I see it's working well for you, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So comment also if you have um, gotten this uh, set of products, the Love of Leaves or the bundle. It is available as a bundle. So you can get the dies with it. And the dies are really cool because they have a stitching on them. I've yet to really play with them. So um, that'll be coming soon. Yeah, I was worried about the rubbing against my clothes thing. Or maybe it's my hair. <laughs> my excuse to wear my hair up. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. You can hear me over the, the heat tool. That's a good thing. Oh, cool. Yay, so you're getting Love of Leaves. That's great, Kathleen. Okay, let's see what we got here. I got it all. Gotta look at it carefully under the light. Try to get that mic so it's not rubbing against myself. Let's see. Um, so I'm just uh, checking it out to make sure there's no uh, powder uh, look so that it's, it's all melted and it looks like it is. Alrighty, so there we go with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this card together and then I'm going to show you a couple of variations of some different things that you can do. So I've got my card base, which is Mossy Meadow. Now this is actually stamped in Old Olive, but I thought it looked... Uh, even better with the mossy meadow, so that's what I chose to do. And this um, cardstock is a piece of Blackberry Bliss. And um, I'm actually going to put my hair up because I have a feeling it might be my hair that's rubbing against the mic. So just give me one quick second to do that. All right. So now I got my adhesive on the back already. And I've got it sized so that it's exactly going to run the side to side on this. And then I'm going to take a couple pieces of gold foil, which are sized to be exactly the same length as my focal piece. And I'm going to actually use some white glue on this because I was having trouble earlier today when I was using glue dots getting it in just the right spot. But I know I can slide it if I use the liquid glue, so that's what I'm going to do. And these little strips measure about 3 eighths of an inch wide. Get this flowing. There we go. And I'm just going to be showing a little bit of that edge. Just want that subtle edge of gold. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the top. And 
and then I may need to trim this off just a tiny bit. Looks like it's a hair too long on the side. But now I can slide it into place where exactly where I want it to be. So it's butt up against that edge, but there's a little bit hanging off over there, so I'm going to just do a quick little trim on that. Turn it over so I can see exactly what I'm trimming off. Hold my scissors against the edge of the very vanilla piece. And do the same thing here. That's just a little smidge of extra gold. And then I'm going to put some strips along the back side to attach it. cut some strips from the full sheets. I showed you that last time or a couple times ago. You can buy these full sheets, foam adhesive sheets. <coughs> you can use the whole thing or cut it into strips if you want to uh, be a little bit more conservative about how much you use. It's actually really nice to use the full thing because then it just holds the whole thing up. So this is a pretty simple design after you're done with the focal piece. And there we go. So there's my finished first version. Oh good. Okay. So there we go. Um, now, let me just show you some of the other options of things that I did. Get some of this cleared away. All right. Number two. So now with some embossing folders, you can actually um, do the dry embossing first and then stamp right over the top. And it's a slightly different look, but Let's um, see what it looks like. So I'm going to do the same exact configuration of stamping. And my images are going to show up a little bit differently, but I like the look as well. Now you do have to make sure that you're going to you press really firmly because you've got the texture of the embossing folder to contend with. But it's still uh, really pretty. You get to leave in a little bit more texture in there because you don't actually cover necessarily the whole, um, the all of the script. So there's one. So now that I have my hair up, is the sound a little bit better? <laughs> I'm not rubbing against it with my hair. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. So Mary Lou, wicked. That's definitely a Boston thing. <laughs> um, I know we used to say it a lot in Boston. I don't hear it very many other places. So. Got the Massachusetts thing going on. Alrighty. And then last but not least, my Blackberry Bliss. And you can see it's working just fine to stamp over the top of this. I'll compare the, I'll show you both of them in just a sec and show you how it's different. So you can see a little bit more of the script just because you don't, you're not, the whole thing is not covered. So I think it's kind of a nice alternative. And then of course for this one, I'll do the same thing. I'll stamp my uh, compass and do all my little gold elements and I think that's a really nice option too. All right, so next version is um, a, a little bit even different from th those first two. And for this one, this one's actually sort of the most exotic, if you will. Uh, let's see, looking for my things put things aside as I'm demonstrating and then I have no idea where I put them. Okay, so I'm bringing my embossing folder back in. And for this version, I'm actually going to stamp on the embossing folder itself. Now I wanna be stamping on the smooth side, not the side that has the raised um, words on it. And that's also the side that has the Stampin' Up logo on it. And I'm gonna take this one that I just did 
place it down underneath, and this is going to be my gauge for spacing where those images are, because otherwise I've got this big surface and I have no idea where I'm stamping. So let's do this again. So I'm going to go right over the top of that one. And again, for this, because this is plastic, I just want to make sure I press good and well because I'm trying to get it to ink the plastic. It's not going to absorb in, of course, like it would with cardstock, so it makes it just a little bit different. And then, of course, it's going to take to the paper differently because we're applying it in such a different way. All right. Now, now I'm going to take my next piece of vanilla, and now I have to figure out exactly where to place my paper. So I'm just going to close it, but not all the way. It needs to kind of come down into the left just a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, so you're not hearing my hair. That's a good thing. <laughs> Get this whole sound things down thing down. Okay, so I think that, that that looks pretty close to where I want it. So I'm gonna close it up, go like that, grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna grab my mouthful. <laughs> that's a mouthful to say. And I got to make sure I don't move that piece of cardstock in the inside as I'm doing this. And my spine is over on here on the left. So I'm just going to turn that around. And run it through. what we got inside. It's a little bit different. Just fun. Fun to have a different version here. Okay, so we're going to open it up and there we go. So that's obviously I got it still on my embossing folder, so I got to wash that off. But you can see that it's pretty different because you get a lot more of the script that shows up. Now, um, I'm going to show you one that is actually finished, done in this way. And uh, I'm going to show you an example of what not to do also. Okay, so for this one I'm about to show you, it's not 100% done, but I've done all those added steps where I put that image up there and did my heat embossing and my specs and the extra stamping. So this is just the, the next phase of it. Um, and I'm going to show you my boo-boo. Where'd my boo-boo go? Because <laughs> it was actually really funny when I was doing it. I didn't realize, um, I wasn't thinking about my embossing folder. Okay, it's around here somewhere. I basically, oh, there it is. Okay. So you probably can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but my script is upside down. <laughs> I stamped on the wrong side of my embossing folder. I went, oh, dang. Now, if you weren't looking too close, you might not be able to tell, but, you know, anyway. Or maybe I could do it upside down. But anyway, so you really want to make sure that you're putting ink onto the Stampin' Up! side of the embossing folder. Make sure you got it right. And um, this one, I've already done my dimensionals and everything on the back side, so I'm just going to assemble that quickly. Now, the first one that I did of this, I did um, on Whisper White cardstock, and um, this one is vanilla. I think I like the vanilla more, just because it has that sort of vintagey look. And then I'll show you all three versions. Well, there are, I guess there's really four. 
So before I show you those other versions, um, when I was, I stamped onto the embossing folder, right, and there was residual ink on there, well, there was also residual ink on the stamps. So I thought, well, maybe I got, I would get some of the texture um, on the stamp itself. So I decided to, in, in a previous iteration, <laughs> not today, to stamp those images onto a piece of cardstock. And actually, you get a little bit of the texture, but it's actually remarkable how much ink was still on those uh, stamps after stamping it onto the embossing folder. I thought that was kind of fun to share as well. All right, so where are my other examples? So this is my one done in this way on white. Now, I actually didn't get as good an image on these, so I actually stamped over that again <laughs> with my ink, and that's why it's filled in. But I actually really like this subtle look where it shows more of the script. So that's my white, that's my vanilla. Chime in and let me know, do you prefer the white or the vanilla? Just curious. And um, I actually saw this as a mistake before I made it into a card, so you never know what you're going to like and what you're not. And, uh, sometimes you have those happy accidents, right? So this is the one I finished earlier where I stamped directly onto the cardstock and then I dry embossed it so you can see the image shows up um, much brighter, if you will. And then this is the one where I stamped on the embossed piece um, so that it was already dry embossed and then I stamped directly over the top. So there are your different variations. So sort of solid, semi-solid, and more textured. So those are your three different variations. And then I did do um, one other with the, um, what is it called? The Pinewood Planks embossing folder. And this one, this is a different card design, but it's basically the same layout. Um, uh, I was able to stamp right onto this Pinewood Planks embossing folder and pretty much get a solid image. Now, there is texture to the stamp, and you even get some of the texture from the stamp showing up there as well. So, um, okay, so somebody loves the semi-solid. Is the semi-solid like the, this one right here? Or which one would it, would it be? I guess it would be that one. That would be semi-solid. That would be the least solid, the most solid. <laughs> Um, anyways, fun, right? What do you guys think? I think it's fun. I've had a lot of fun playing with this, and of course, this is just one layout. Now, there's another thing I wanted to point out. Maybe you have noticed it, or maybe you haven't. I don't know. But these two, my leaves are on the left, and on these ones, my leaves are on the right. And that's, of course, if it's not obvious, because of I because I put it into the embossing folder and inked it and I got the reverse image which I think is really kind of fun. So yet another yet another fun little twist on this project. So that actually is well is, is all I got to share <laughs> for my project today. So I'm going to turn the camera around, say some quick goodbyes and let you guys move on with your evening. So let's see if I can do this and um, I'm going to leave my little bun in. Move my hair up for a change. All right, let's see. Okay. Hi. See, this is me with a bun. <laughs> this is where I mostly wear my, how I mostly wear my hair. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that project. I will be taking photographs of all the different variations and putting it into a blog post. Um, I have been publishing um, the post and the video on Saturday instead of Friday these last few weeks. We'll, we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. We're actually going to the beach for a couple of days. <laughs> um, so uh, I just gotta figure out how it works in my schedule to get it out there. But um, it will also be posted to YouTube, so it'll be available to others to watch as well. Um, so I guess just uh, as a reminder, don't forget, if you're interested in the technique class, uh, the individual class, the Joseph's Coat class, or a three-month subscription, or a three-month cl month club, um, send me an email or go to my website and check out some of the options. Um, it basically comes down to do you want product to get the class for free or a reduced price or do you want to pay a fee and just take the class? 
Um, those are pretty much the two basic criteria, but um, let me know if you're interested. Um, I pour my heart and soul into the technique classes, <laughs> um, spend a lot of time on them, and um, <clears throat> love to be able to share some interesting techniques. So uh, let me know if you have questions. Get those re-inkers if you haven't yet gotten yours and you need them still. I don't know, hopefully they're going to last because I still need to get mine. Um, and I will be back same time, same channel next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for well wishes for the beach. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do my best to actually not do very much work. That doesn't mean I won't do any. <laughs> Probably be on the computer some. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to try to take a little bit of time just to relax and chill with my, my husband and daughter before she goes back to school. So um, excited to have a little break. So um, thank you so much for joining in today, for checking out my projects, and, um, <laughs> um, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you for the wishes of the beach. Everybody's saying happy fun, have fun at the beach. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.